If you love crab cakes, you need to stop right now and take note of this recipe. Oh, fried till golden and crispy perfection. Oh, and then topped with some homemade tartar sauce. Oh, we are talking about crab cake heaven after we every bite. We have. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. If you love crab cakes and we love crab, well, you don't as much. I don't as much, but these, I'm like, give me eight. I know, I know. So let me, let's get going. So, and, and he's not joking. So I've got two tablespoons of unsalted butter that I've melted here. We're going to get these veggies. We're going to cook these down, soften these a little bit um, before they go into the mixture. Mm -hmm. So I've got a half a cup. That's like a small um, white onion that I've chopped, finely chopped. This is a red bell pepper, about the same quantity. We're looking at about uh, half a cup that I've seeded and finely chopped. And uh, we're just gonna just gonna soften these up a little bit, so you when you oh, bite no. into that crab cake, you don't have, right. have to. If you like the taste of raw onion, then go for it. I love these crab cakes. We have a blackened sort of a blackened. Is it blackened? The other well, crab other cake southern or, style, a southern yeah, yeah. style, um, but I have a little zing to them. Uh, these are just. They're a little more, so those, I just added two large uh, cloves of garlic that I minced. Those other ones that Wesley took, I love too, and they're very, as pe as though in the know, would say very crab forward. Yes, um, yes. It's really all about the crab. These are very crab-alicious. <laughs> but they've got those, that, crab-alicious. Crab-alicious. It's got that crispy, crunchy um, exterior yes. coating and Which all of those love. other fantastic flavors. So we're going to let this cook for just a, literally a few minutes, and then we're going to let it cool down before we build the mixture. Okay, so this cooked down very nicely. I've let it just cool. You can let it cool for, oh, I don't know, not forever. You just don't want it to, you don't want it to interact with your cold eggs. So anyway, I, probably 10 minutes. I've got two tablespoons of fresh parsley. Look at the color. I know, the color is so delicious and so yummy. Um, a fresh parsley that I'm mixing in now. And so go ahead. Yeah, so I'm going to make the main uh, crab cake mixture. So I've the got main event. Main event. I got two eggs that I've in, that I threw in there, and I lightly beat them. And now I've got a quarter cup of mayonnaise. That's a half a cup. Oh, I swear I could have said. <laughs> it's a half a cup of mayonnaise. It's a half a cup of mayonnaise. <laughs> then I have a two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Love it. All yes. these classic flavors. And then I have a teaspoon or a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can go the stony or the ground if you really want to punch some extra I flavor. I do like the stony or I the ground. I do too. I do then too. I've got a tablespoon of drained capers. Capers, yeah, that this briny deliciousness. So good. Then I've got a tablespoon of Red wine and vinegar. Red could, wine vinegar. I couldn't yes. remember what I was what I was throwing in there. You got it. You found it though. All right. Now I've got some. Oh, let me do a couple of dashes of this hot sauce. Just we 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 always have Tabasco on hand, and for some reason we did I'm Tabasco. Not, I love, and we usually do about two teaspoons. But a half a teaspoon got? of salt, and then a half a teaspoon of pepper. Yes. All right. Now. <laughs> I've got this delicious crab meat jumbo. No, it's not jumbo. It's just lump crab meat. Yeah, Ugh. you don't. Jumbo lump crab meat is it's really, really for like, expensive. Yeah, and it's good for like if you want a really crab. I mean, forward. if it's if you're talking yeah. crab and you're and you're willing to like shell out some cash. Yes. You don't need to do that for these. Just you know, just find some good quality. Uh, don't use imitation, please. Um, but th this is easy to find in, in yeah. most the, the seafood department of most decent supermarkets. <laughs> <laughs> just drain and get the most of the and liquid it may out feel, Yeah, there. it may feel like that there is no liquid in there, but there usually is. There and is. also, it's not a bad idea to, to kind of pick them you over see, there's a little for any there. cartilage that can happen, you know, depending on the, the, the brand that you're using. So we've, we feel pretty certain that that is free of cartilage. Go. Squeezing right. out all that liquid. Right, Look at Wesley? that. What? I'm sorry, I was squeezing my crab. I, yeah. <laughs> I was talking about how you hate eating a crab oh. cake and getting a little cartilage in there or something. Yeah, but something. then people are like, you know, it's fresh then. I'm like, I don't <laughs> yeah. care. Yeah. I don't care. So uh, most people have the reaction to this, <laughs> so pick it over if you can. Yeah. Now we're going to add this and then look, the colors, yay! <laughs> I love it. Uh -huh. I'm going to get all this stuff out of the, the way. The colors, here, I'll do that. Okay. And then the flavors, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, y'all. All right, you're going to clear for me? I'm going to clear. All right, I'm going to start getting in here. And get okay. There we go. 
go. Look at that, you guys. That is just colorful. It is beautiful. And so <laughs> I remember, I, I have a memory of, you know, my food memories. I go back to, so I grew up, you know, in northern Texas. And seafood, especially back in the 70s, where at least where we grew up in the suburbs of Dallas, Fort Worth, <laughs> wasn't just everywhere. Well, there was Long John Silver, and I love that. <laughs> I know. There were fish sticks, and that, I love that. But, you know, oh, crab Chris. cakes weren't so readily available or at least not in our home. I love it. And you in South Dakota. Oh, I please. know that's the case. But the first <laughs> well, time. Well, hey, we had like uh, fried pike. Or, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess you did it because you and have a lot of lakes bullhead, up there. I think but anyway, I, I cannot remember where I had my first New England style crab cake. But it was, it was, I was young. Okay. I know. And it was mind blowing. <laughs> I, yeah, I was like, I'm going to eat this for the rest of my life. All right, we're going to add a little, because that's I think a little. That might need a little more. We're going to add, so depending on how wet your crab is, um, you may want to add, have some, these are panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to add about a quarter cup. You don't want it to be so thick with the breadcrumbs because then it really it becomes right. more about the breading and less about the crab. But you and, definitely and want to have but you want it to you these types of crab cakes you want them to you know adhere and stay together so when we when we lightly fry them. I think that's good. I what think that's think? good. That's good. And then we're going to chill it. All right. All um, right. Help me out here. I'm okay. going to put this over here. What do you do? You want to take that that tray with the okay. and put it yes. right there. So now what we're going to do is where am I doing? Where's put it right down there? How okay. Put this on the so inside. now we are going to go ahead and form the crab cakes before we bread them. Yeah. And uh, but what's going to help things along is if we chill them. That really helps firm them up. Yeah. Um, it's got that mayo in there that kind of gets l a little loose and a little softened. Now I like a big crab cake, but uh, I got to be He careful. does. I mean, the first time we made these, they, they were literally like tired. <laughs> they were. But that's okay. That's look ours. at that. Isn't that cute? We're using one of these just little decorative. They're like cookie cutter type tired. things. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I, and um, I love your you crab can cake make tire. these little small little balls or like little appetizers. That's hugely fantastic for parties. Yeah. You can do the these size, which are kind of like an appetizer size before <laughs> a beautiful seafood dinner. I don't know. These are pretty big. These, these are pretty hefty. Be, uh, these are pretty hefty. I mean, yeah. Or you could serve two of these for, you know, with maybe like a nice salad and they make an incredible entree as well. So, <laughs> all right, um, I'm going to finish these up. We're going to finish those up. And then, then we're going to stick them in the fridge. That's right. All right. Okay. Looking good, Wesley. Okay. Those look great. So yes. now those need to chill, like we said, and I'm going to say that those are those size right there. That's probably about three to four ounces of the mixture. Yeah, and so, that was, you know, that was cooked crab, so I really didn't need these. But, oh, it's always know. good to have it. You got uh, you got <laughs> uncooked egg in there. So. Oh, right. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> chill these for, say, 30, we're gonna dance, and then we're gonna <laughs> chill these for 30 minutes, and then we bread them. Oh, Chris. Okay, moving right along. There we go. So those have been chilling, oh, well, 20, 30 minutes is good. You just wanna get them a, a little, just chilled again. So, okay, so I've got three eggs here, and I'm gonna add just a little dash of water. About a tablespoon. Tell me when, Chris. Cool water. That's good. That's, that's good. 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 Uh, you just ah. want to thin it out a little bit. That's it. You say that's three eggs. That three are eggs, and I'm so going to beat them a So let's talk about more. these breadcrumbs um, while you're doing that. Mm -hmm. So you want them nice and golden, and we like to go with panko breadcrumbs. Panko, or Jap if you don't know, they're Japanese breadcrumbs that are, have a little more thickness to them, and they just have a little more crunch texture to them. You could use just regular breadcrumbs, but there's something about these panko that just are out of this world. Now to make them really golden, what we do, what we did, and you can do this in advance or you can do this while they're while these are chilling for their second chill, is preheat your oven to 375 degrees, get a baking sheet, and then um, put two cups of panko breadcrumbs, and you don't even need to have them seasoned, just plain panko breadcrumbs, put them in the oven, and then let them go for a total of about seven, six to seven minutes, maybe half Halfway through it, you want to toss them around a little bit so you can even um, goldenness on baking them, and then they just turn this golden, oh good, golden delicious flavor, and that's what we're going to use for breading. Yeah, so I've got I've got my first I got my first crab cake oh, here. So exciting! You know they might lose their form just a little yeah. bit, but you can reform them. Crab cakes do not have to be perfectly circular. You don't even that little ring that we use. You don't even have to do that. They're like hamburgers. Yeah, yeah. You you can form them yourself, no yeah. problem. Yep, yep. All and right. then I got this egg here. Wesley is all about the making of the crab oh, cakes I know, today. I, know. I love it. Well, I just realized halfway through this recipe that I'm doing it all. 
You are. <laughs> well, and I'm, that's why I said I'm loving it. I love every go. bit of it. All right, I'm gonna get this. I'm just gonna form it a little more in my hands just to make sure that it stays. That is lovely. Get a little more on there, and then I'm gonna put it right here. Bam. Yes. All right. Bam, right there. Bam. And I'm gonna put a little more on top, just in case. Just, just for good measure. Just in cases. Okay, so we're gonna finish up with those. Let those Ooh. chill for another 30 minutes. Um, at this point, you can do these well in advance. Um, if you're not serving until, say, you know, four or five hours later, just cover them. That's that's great about these is that you can do this in advance and then quickly fry them right before your guests arrive. Um, so, but we're gonna let these chill for a minimum of 30 minutes. We're gonna get our oil. We've got our oil right here, vegetable oil. Um, we're gonna get heated to 350 degrees and then quickly fry them up and then <laughs> we're gonna eat. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's time. almost crab cake time. It's time to fry these babies. I'm, this, I'm sorry, so, I'm, I'm screaming. That's all right. It's, it's <laughs> worth screaming about. So I've got my oil heated to 350 degrees. Um, a candy thermometer or a meat thermometer really helps you make sure you get the perfect temperature. So we're just going to drop. These have been chilling now for about 30 minutes, and I'm going to do these in batches. So we are going to do these uh, four at a time. And uh, they don't yeah, take. Give me that big one right yeah, there. That's yours. <laughs> they don't take long. Um, you just want to get them because you know, the crab is is really already cooked. It's been steamed, so you're not really cooking the crab. What you're doing is you're just you're giving them that kind of a nice light fry. You're cooking the interior so the egg cooks and all, but it doesn't take long. And I just am. Uh. I'm beside myself. I like, am too. Like I was saying earlier, I would when then you kind of got frantic, so I had to stop my <laughs> I had to stop my story. But um, <laughs> when I was young, is I had one of these types of crab cakes. I cannot remember for the life of me where it was, but I just was like because it's one of those it's one of those dishes that even like non seafood people like this is delicious. Well, yeah, totally. I you know crab cakes is. I never order them. Chris orders them all the time. I love anything crab. I love. I just and he's love always them. like, "You'll love this," and I'm like, "No, I won't." If he's he, he's one of those, <laughs> and I understand. He, if anything's a little too fishy tasting, I'll tell you what. If it's a good tartar sauce, I'll eat it. Yes, yeah. Speaking of, we'll talk about that in just a moment. So um, you don't really need, like I said, you don't need to let these go for a super long time. You just want them to get crispy and. Um, Golden on the exterior. So let's see how this is looking. Just Flip that baby. Be careful when Whoa, you're. That's that looking looks good. good. That's looking beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. I am, I am a little bit um, giddy. <laughs> so now we're just going to let. Oh, and then we are going to drain these on paper towels. And then it's time to eat crab cakes. Yes. That is just a platter of happiness. I'll tell you, if you're feeling crabby, make some crab cakes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me just tell you on the heels of that hilarious joke. So we flipped them over and they, they just got beautifully uh, golden like this. And so then I just transferred them to a paper towel or a uh, plate that was lined with paper towels. If you're doing a big batch, you can keep them warm. I'm going to give you this one because I know you're going to put any of this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We got a little uh, parsley just because. Just to make it, it makes, look pretty. It makes it look pretty, especially if you're. These are such great dinner party fare. Uh, you can again, you can do it as an appetizer. You can do it as little party snacks. I love that. Or you can do it as an entree, like we're doing. I'm fingering your food. Um, That's all but right. My hands are clean. Right there, bad boy. Give me that. Beautiful. <gasps> That oh! Is, I know. So right there next to that crab cake is a little jar of our homemade oh. <coughs> tart tartar sauce. Yes. I'm gonna put a little more. I'm gonna put a little on it right now. Let me give you just a little more. Oh, you oh, can do. Perfect. When are you gonna do your lemon? Well, I'm gonna do. I like to mix it in with my tartar sauce. Oh, okay. That's yes. a good idea. So I'm gonna just spread a little of love right here onto this. <gasps> So this, these oh. are, as you can see, are hefty uh, uh, crab cakes. They definitely will feed, that's a meal in and of itself. I sun. love it. Feed oh. these, feed four people easily. Oh, you guys, you guys. Oh, I must. I'm, I'm, uh, there's, there, there's my lemon juice. Every now and then. Oh, wow. We make something that I mean <laughs> flows back there. She's I didn't even, know she liked crab cakes. I know, I know. Well, these crab cakes, okay, I'm gonna get a little. Oh, oh Chris. I know, I know. I'm I'm ready. All right. Are you I'm ready to do this? Right I'm gonna dig right in. Let everybody see. So <gasps> the cr crunchy exterior. Let oh. them see the inside. Yeah. Let me just move this over, y'all. Beautiful. Look at that. Her Deliciousness. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go I'm in. So, I'm so anticipating this. You okay, ready? So. <laughs> <laughs> Is
It's the crunchy exterior with that delicious crab filling. Oh my goodness gracious. Y'all, <laughs> really? I am, oh that tartar sauce. He said too. the other day, I know the tartar sauce puts it over the top. He said the other day I was playing around with these and he said, I'm not even a crab cake kind of loon. Yeah. And he kept going back for these and kept going yeah, back Yeah, I like ate like eight of them. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I mean, you guys. You guys, hold on, I just, I like a little bit more. There we go. Mm -hmm. The tartar sauce. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. I'd also like to say that we're we're doing these for our dear friend Sharon in New York City, oh, crab yeah. cakes. She says that's her last meal kind of dish. So <laughs> we love you, Sharon. These would be it. Oh, y'all. I mean, I might even do like a half a million percent Luna proof. All right, I did it. You did it. <laughs> right, yes. They really are that good, you guys. I am in love with these. <laughs> I'm in love with them. And I love that you love it so much. Mm. And you're going to love it, you guys. And like I said, you can get these prepped in advance and then just quickly fry them right before your guests oh. arrive. It's so good. It's so delicious. So good. Yeah, you can let them sit in the fridge for a while. You can. Mm. All right, we love you guys so much. Make oh. crab cakes. It'll just, it'll make you the happiest yes. person in the world. No more crabbiness. No crabby. Crab All right, bye, everybody. Love bye, you. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>